Ah. So now they are going to give us the beginning number. They're going to give us the area that's in the middle, and we have to find out what the end number is. So, on our Alex calculator, first of all, I got to figure out here. I know this number here was negative 1.07. I want to find this number over here on the end that would give me an area of 0 0.8131 on my thing. So, what I'm first going to do is find the area that's under this first number. So on my calculator, I'm going to find P of Z is less than or equal to that negative 1.07. That's going to give me the area that's under this little section right here. So, or do you want that whole number? I think we got a different number. <laughs> and then I wrote down anyway. So, clear that out for me. Just do the P, no, yep, P is Z, yep. Negative 1.07. There's the number I got. So that number you got there was 0. Point what? 1423. One, I'm going to go since it says to carry it at least four decimal places. Okay? okay? Now, when we figure out this I'm going to do, because I want this area here that's to the right, 1 minus the Z sub, and I'm going to add these two numbers together. So I'm going to have 0 0.1423 plus 0 0.8131. And it does let you type it in like that. You don't have to figure that number out first unless you want to. So we know the area or the area here. We want the area down here. So we have to do 1 minus that total other area. Whoops. I wrote that down wrong. I'm going to put my 1 minus over here. <laughs> 1 minus this total area. 0.1423 plus 0.8131. There. I wrote it down the right way now. 1 minus my area. So, yep. Seven zero is what we should end up with. To two decimal places is which it says to round off our answers to. Right? So 1.70. So that's if we have the beginning number and we will need to find the end number. The next one, we want to find the beginning number if we have the end number. So now we got to do it a whole different way. First thing again, we're going to find this. P of Z is less than or equal to the negative 0 0.6. Let's see, we know from here to here is 0 0.2421. They gave us that. Did that, you got zero point seven two. So 
think so. P of z is, yep, less than or equal to negative 0 0.6. Equals. Equals. Which four places? Did I write that number down now? Go back and do that again. P of z is less than negative 0 0.6, right? Yeah, that's what we got. That's the number I got. I don't know what you typed in before. <laughs> 0 0.274. Okay. Do you go four places? Yep. 0 0.2743 then, right? Yep. Now what that is, is all the way from here to here, is 0 0.2743. We want this little section here, and so what we're going to do is take that bigger number and subtract the area that's underneath there, the 0 0.2421. So we're going to take the 0 0.2743, we're going to subtract the 0 0.2421. which gives you zero point zero three two one I'm going to carry it to four decimal places now that is the area that's here <laughs> zero point zero three two one I want to find this part right here so now I'm going to use my Z sub I'm going to do z sub 1 minus that number, 0 0.0321. Because I want this section here. I found all of this other sections. So now we're going to do z sub 1 minus what we just got for our answer there. Clear that out, put in Z, yep, the plain Z, and then 1 minus, we could type it on the keyboard too, and then the 0 0.0321. What's on 0? Yep, that one right there. So, yeah. 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 1.850. And we're just going to two decimal places on this one, so just negative 1.85. Okay, so two ways you're going to see this. Either they're going to give us the starting number, we have to find the ending number, or they give us the ending number and we have to find the starting number. That one's a little tougher. Number nine should be pretty close to the same way number seven was, because we have the beginning number and we want to find the ending number. So on number nine, first thing we're going to do, find the P of Z is less than or equal to the 1.1. 1 .1. Okay, so It's so quiet, they're working really hard. So if you find that on your LX calculator, P e of Z is less than or equal to the 1.1, 1 .1, you get what number? Yep. 0 0.8643, which is the area in here. 8643, almost can read that. <laughs> And so then we said once we know those two numbers, this one and this one, we're going to do Z sub 1 minus the total of those two things. 0 0.8643 plus 0 0.1013.
Okay, what number is right here? That number is the answer we got here. Okay. So this little section has that area, that little section has that area. We're trying to find the end, so we have to do one minus the sum of those two things. <laughs> So Z, and then in the little box, one minus, and then in parentheses, I'm going to add those two together. You could do it separately, but we might as well just punch it all in at once. And you get... Not the right answer? <laughs> it says undefined. You type something in wrong. Well, let's clear it and try it again. <laughs> so the Z sub, yep, that one, one minus parenthesis, and then we're going to do the 0.8643 plus the 0.1013. Did I have this Whoops, I don't think you got that written down right. Point one zero one three. Back that up and type that in there. <laughs> Keep going back. Okay, point one zero, one zero one three. There you go. I think you had it written down right. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Close your parenthesis and then hit equals. And so we got one point eight two, right? Yes. 1.82. All right. Now, what, if you wanted to check your answer for fun, if you grab your Alex calculator, or you're not your Alex calculator, your other calculator, and do your second and the uh, um, Bears button and number two, like we did on the first ones. Okay. So, got that? Okay. And then if you put in the starting number, negative 1.07, comma, your answer, 1.70, close your parenthesis and hit equals, or enter. You should, oops, <laughs> let's try that again. Did we use the did you use the subtraction or the negative? I think you're using the subtraction and not the negative key. So second, there's number two. Okay, negative 1.07, comma. And then here we got an answer of 1.70. Close parentheses, hit equal. You should get this number here because we're checking between here and here. We should get that number there. So if we use what we did on the previous ones. All right. Alex's calculator is the easiest way. <laughs>